Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays Dark Souls 3. Uh, we've just defeated the two princes. As I understand it, we are very much approaching the end game. If we actually happen to get to the final boss, I will go back and experience the side areas rather than just uh, finishing the game straight away. Because we got a lot of stuff to show off and people are particularly uh, interested in seeing what happens down there in the area. You know, after you beat... It's not Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Which boss was it that we defeated? And then there... Oh, maybe it was Dancer of the Boreal Valley. There's two different directions to go. And I went in this direction when we didn't have to go in this direction. We could have gone in another direction. But, you know, you, you have my word on that for now at the very least. Unless that side area, you know, proves too difficult for us or whatever. Um, having defeated the two princes. Admittedly, I thought that this was like... This altar would open up or something, and then I'd see a new world outside of the walls of this four-poster bed. But I may be mistaken. Let's leave, and maybe suddenly everything has changed, you know? Perhaps I'll walk outside, and it'll be a new world. Was that sun always like that? I've decided as well to take a new approach to uh, playing... Dark Souls 3, and that new approach is, as soon as I see an enemy, I throw fireballs at them until they die. And then we use an Ash, Ash and Estes, and then, you know, we got this guy over here, and he's like, hey, what's up, dog? Shit, I don't want any part of that. Ooh, chunks. Not disappointed to see that at all. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Or is he... And then we basically just repeat this ad nauseum until all these enemies die. And we're actually, uh, you know, garnering a fair bit of souls action here for doing this. Which is very useful for me, personally. As, uh, I'm going to be using these to level up attunement. So that hopefully I can kind of continue this strategy into the long term. You're not an embered enemy. So you should be fairly easy to kill. There we go. I don't care, you know, I've, I've had... Oh, Jesus Christ. I've been a little guilty, probably, of, um... You know, I see an enemy... Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. I see an enemy and I'm like, no, this enemy's not worth my pyromancy. Yo, we are a pyromancer. Every enemy is worth our pyromancy at this point. And I truly believe this. I love Big Brother. Three firebombs. Lovely. Uh, oh... I really thought that we were going to be a little closer to being done with this section, but that's okay. Need to Ash and Estes. Now, there are some Embered enemies coming up after me right now, so we should be wary of that. think he's going to go. Yeah, we got that one. Um... I'm going to throw this one down quickly. We're going to Ash and Estes. At the very worst case scenario, at least we're gaining basically a level out of this and if I have to go back to Firelink Shrine I actually think it's very sensible to go back to Firelink and uh, maybe even attune my Estus differently large Titanite Shard and an Ember large Titanite Shard and a Refined Gem uh, like it seems sensible to go back to Firelink Shrine level up attunement and then also you know take more Ash and Estus because like as of right now the Ash and Estes are, are certainly the real money makers for me. The sword's doing okay. Don't get me wrong, but... Could use a little more. And, you know, I, I can't help but feel, though, that, like, I killed, I killed this boss. In his boss room, is there really nowhere else for me to go? Surely there's got to be, like, a door that this is unlocked somewhere that I'm just ignorant of right now. Because otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. Was there perhaps a door I missed at some point? Like, the other thing I'm thinking is, is there something going on in this general vicinity up here? Because this area is like literal hell on earth. But it is in the direction of the sun. I don't know if that matters at all for our purposes right now. Obviously, we've already been up here. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm thinking. One thing I didn't try was a um, little bit of like Dark Souls 2-y kind of stuff. And I'm not talking about Banjo Dark Souls 2-y. What if we go back to um, Firelink Shrine and then like deposit the last 
cinders of lords or whatever they are. So, first talk. May I pose thee a question? This is new. Has the little Lord Ludlet spoken to thee of any curious matters? I sense that he possesses some knowledge. Maybe she wants me to speak to of a thing once most precious. The the little Lord Ludith. All right, so gives me a hint of, of who to speak with at least. And we can pick up another level of attunement here. Doesn't give us too much more, but it, it, you know, it's exciting nonetheless. Now this is the person that we're supposed to speak with. Sure, yes, I think we've already seen this. This is Ludlith. Okay, so, I mean, I've been speaking to him, but he hasn't really... hasn't really told me anything I didn't already know here. I think we'd even seen that dialogue before, so... Maybe that was just dialogue from the Firekeeper that I've never seen, personally. Okay, St. Aldrich. Ludlith. Hey, what's up, dude? Um, is this Lothric? Holy King Lothric. I'd like... I'd like to deposit the cinders of a lord. There we go. Having now filled all of the thrones. Let's see, Abyss Watchers, of course. That's uh, Yorm the Giant. Lud oh! oh! Okay. So this is what we had to do, I guess. Okay, so she's talking to Ludlith. I just want to see if there's any more dialogue from Ludlith now that we've uh, gotten all the thrones full. Okay, so we're going through the same dialogue, but he did have some new dialogue in the interim period there. Now, do you have new dialogue now that I've spoken with him? No, you do not. Okay, so, hey, hey, stop speaking to me. So I believe that this will probably maybe take us to the endgame area, but we should be able to move from that endgame area to anywhere else, just, you know, via the powers of transportation as is. But maybe we can at least get the cutscene here and see where we stand. Oh, sorry, Ludlith. I didn't know that was going to happen. And the lords go without thrones. Surrender your fire to the true heir.
We are lit, fam. SMDH, shake my darn head. To the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. The end, but no, not actually. All right, so we already killed the first flame. We will light the bonfire. We will sit at said bonfire. And thank God we can still travel. I do want to explore this area a little bit. Even if the killing of the first flame just ends up being the boss fight, we might as well take a look at it. You know why? Because we put in the fucking time. That's why. We did it. It's real dark here. Killing of the First Flame, of course, was a uh, an area in the original Dark Souls as well. It was the final area from whence you uh, fight the final boss of that game. Who I'm not going to spoil the name of, but I'm assuming if you're watching, you're probably aware of who that is. Killing of the First Flame is a really cool area in, in Dark Souls... Uh, Another bonfire. In Dark Souls 1 as well. In the high level PvP area. PvP area. Um, did I? Did this just teleport me back to Firelink Shrine? What have I done? And also, lots of uh, Black Knights as well. That was strange. Can we travel from this bonfire? <laughs> okay, yes we can. Um, alright. That's fine. Doesn't really look... Oh, that's super cool. Doesn't really look like the kill in the first flame from uh, Dark Souls 1. Except in, you know, the flora, I suppose. I.e. none. Yo, that's real cool. It appears that this is probably just our boss fight. Shall we give it one go? Why not, right? I doubt we're gonna math this, this one up and, and just beat the game on the first try. But if we did, that would be sweet. There you go, heal up. It's a giant enemy or a large enemy with a sword. It's Dark Souls 101. He does not get staggered, though. Heal up. Heal up. We do have, like, a dope-ass embering here. Imagine Flash Sweat is probably useful. Whoa! That seems bad. You're not supposed to ho hold the sword by the, the blade, my friend. That's not that bad. That is, I imagine. You got the arm? He's got the arm, but that's not that bad actually either, honestly. You're really just gonna let me like right click uh, or art right bumper spam some pyromancy at you? Finish the job like this? Now you got the Uchi Katana! Whoa! Okay, that's an attack and a half. What is that? Some kind of poison. It's every Dark Souls boss combined. Look, I don't want to make you feel bad. My guess is that my pyromancy is probably better than yours at this point. Okay, he's hit the next level. I don't know if we'll ever get this lucky on this boss fight again, if we have to do it again. But I gotta say, this guy's given us way too much opportunity to space him out. He's gotta take a little bit of a, a class from the two princes. It's almost like, it's too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. It would be too soulsy to beat the final boss first try and die 50,000 times on the second to last boss. Oh my god, we're actually gonna do it. 
Just heal up a little. Throw this. Don't let him heal. It might be what he's doing there. Ah, shit. Okay, disregard. Of course it's a multi-phase boss. So stupid, Northern Lion. You thought you were going to beat the final boss on the first try? What game do you think you're playing? To be fair, I think we did we did pretty well though. What is that? Don't use your lightning spears on me. Yo, this don't seem that bad. My opinion on that may that's a Gwyn move right there. My opinion on that may indeed change. I gotta say, so far. This guy hasn't been that bad. Now, are we going to die? Yes! Yep, there we go. But you know what? We did totally fine there. I actually think if we go into that boss fight with, um, you know, maybe like 4 Estus, 8 Ashen Estus, or 4 Estus, uh, 7 Ashen Estus, whichever one's available to us, um, we're probably going to be good to go. So I think it was the... Was it the Aldrich? No, the Aldrich boss fight teleports you to the Dancer of the Boreal Valley boss fight. Where we can then go into that secret area. I did momentarily think that I had accidentally beaten Dark Souls 3 and I was very excited. But let's find ourselves in the, uh, in the bonus area here. And learn a little something about what's going on. I have heard that the game's hardest boss is in this uh, Consumed King's Garden. If there's a third phase to the Soul of Cinder, then I have grossly misjudged the situation. Because uh, if it's only two phases, honestly, I think if we grinded that out for the next 10 or 15 minutes, we could probably get it. Basically, grind, or not grind, but just cast the shit out of Pyromancy at him from afar. And uh, a lot more Ash and Estus flasks. And then have an Ember to heal you, I guess, in the, in the event that things go terribly wrong. But... People want to see this bonus area, and I want to see it as well. So let's go. Uh, let's go take uh, advantage of the fact that we can do that. Okay, so we only have twelve Estus. That's fine. This is the route to the bonus area. Yes. Okay. Hopefully, we've gotten to the point where our fire orb is gonna. You hear that? Hopefully, we've gotten to the point where our fire orb is. Uh, able to murder all these dudes without us really needing to be there. Oh, dude, that is the worst cast. I don't like using one, um... using one full Estus to accomplish that goal, but, uh... Life finds a way, or something, something, something. You know what, I'm actually gonna, because we have a lot of embers, I'm gonna ember up, because there's an AI summon down here. Unusually. I mean, it's, it's always down here, but it's unusual that there's an AI summon that exists. I wish you would not scream so loud. Whoa! You're not dead. Okay. Like, the screaming... I don't know if anyone's ever told you this. It's real fucking annoying. So stop with that shit, please. Definitely have to Ash and Estus. It's a larger priority than the regular Estus. Oh, drop that shield. Oh, ideal. Ideal. You know what? Why take chances? There you go. Knock him out. Take your Titanite. Ash and Estus again. Now, is this not where the summon sign was? It was somewhere in here. I saw a shadow move and I got quite frightened. I think I must it must be on the next step up to the streets. Just want to get a little recon on this area. Um, you know, it's pretty important for us to not get poisoned. Let's have the opportunity to regular Estus. Run up the stairs, and then if an enemy wants to fight us, it can do so on our terms. Hawkwood, join me. We are going to slay enemies.
Do you have a bow, by chance? Please don't just, like, run out of here and get yourself poisoned. Oh, shit, you're just gonna walk off the edge? I mean, we don't have to fight these guys, Hawkwood. It's really... It's up to you, because I have no idea what I'm doing here. What about this staircase? Oh, okay. Not, not as useful as I originally anticipated it would be. That is a swamp, but it doesn't appear to be a poisoned swamp. Alright, Hawkwood's going all in, man. He's killing it to start with. Just destroying. I'm being a little facetious, but hey, he did okay there. Nothing wrong with that. He's dead, man! Thanks for the Titanite, you dumb jerk. Oh. Enemies with a great sword like to swing it. That's my experience. Alright, the 2v1 is going just fine in here. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Hit him. Hit him a couple times. You know what? I hate you. I hate you, Hawkwood. Just swing at him one. Look at that. We got him. No problem. Never a doubt in my mind. We are... Ooh, magic stone plate ring. We are almost out of Ash and Estus, though. Increases magic damage absorption. That is interesting. Anything back here? No, this was just the path. The other path we could have taken. Wait, we're not out of Ash and Estus. We have one. Okay. Uh, you hearing this? This is a, a boss that sounds very angry. <laughs> yep, okay. Yeah, I mean, gross. I'm not trying to push my standards of beauty on you, but sure. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I will not give him We're just really here to get through the fog wall. If you wish to let us go, that would be awesome. Please be Sif. Please be Sif. The Consumed King. We're in the Temple of Osiris now, baby! Okay, well, we should Ash and Estus. Hawkwood, you don't need to kill the boss, but I'd really like you to draw aggro so I can figure out what his attacks are like. This guy's in a bad place. His life is... is out of control. We've all been there, sometimes you just need to take some time back and rebalance, you know? I'm out of Estes again. Alright, well, we're gonna have to fight him the old-fashioned way. To be honest, Pyromancy was not working that well anyway, because this dude just never stops moving or shutting up. Okay, right. Sword is what does sword attacks. He's having a hell of a day. Oh, that's a magic attack, perhaps? As a crit, oh, it's, it's seat the scaleless again. Hawkwood, Estes! We can do this, Hawkwood. You just need to Estes, man. Music is pretty dope right now. Whoa! Two, still got two Estus plus fives. Oh, perfect. That's not a testicle. That's actually just, he's got a bruise. Commonly misconstrued. Don't look at his bruise. That's where he makes pee pee. Hawkwood, let's do this, man! We are in here! 
And then we're gonna take Ocelot and we're gonna... I don't know. Convert her soul into a boss weapon or something, probably. I don't know what Ocelot is. Probably been dead for a hundred years, knowing Dark Souls. Yo. Straight up bullshit here. Don't do this to me, Hawkwood. Every attack gets him a little closer to his inevitable testicular death. We're like drained. Our Ashen Estes does not exist any longer. Watch out for tail swipes. Oh, crystal attack is your your demise, my friend. You know, that was probably the second easiest boss in Dark Souls 3 so far. Admittedly, I did it with an AI summon. But still, that was... Uh, that was N2B, man. N2B, not too bad. We also got jack shit for so... Oh, never mind. We got, we got more souls than I would have expected. Alright, let's rest up. And actually, uh, I think I'm going to travel back to Firelink Shrine. And back in uh, Firelink Shrine, we'll go... Uh, Level up attunement once more. Probably should at some point get faith in into the same level. But honestly, our just non-stop casting of fireballs is doing fantastic work for us. So the more fuel we have for the fireball, the better our life is, I think. Yeah, 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 whatever. Link the flames. We'll see. I got other stuff to do, all right? I know I could save your whole universe, but just give me some time here. Attunement hits level 20. And, uh... I'd like to pop another soul and get another level. Nah, this isn't quite going to get us there. So I'm going to end the episode here for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.